Well, hello, dragons. Hey, happy Monday. Here we are again. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon, and I am sheltered in place at my house, sitting in the backyard, enjoying this beautiful afternoon, and ready to share a fantastic story with you. This story is called Greta and the Giants. It's by Zoe Tucker and Zoe Persko. And uh, these two people work together on this book. And actually, this book uh, is about a real person. It's a biography in some sorts. Uh, and it's inspired by Greta Thunberg's Stand to Save the World. Maybe you've heard of Greta Thunberg. All right, let's get started. Greta and the Giants. There once was a girl who lived at the heart of a beautiful forest. Her name was Greta. One morning, things weren't quite as they should be. Greta stepped out into her yard and there, huddled together in the shadows of the trees, were all the animals of the forest. A soft, silvery-brown wolf stepped forward with his tail low to the ground. Please help us, he whispered. The forest is broken, and we don't know where to go. The giants are ruining our home. The giants had always been there for as long as Greta could remember, but now they were worse than ever. They were huge lumbering oafs, and they were always busy. They chopped down trees to build homes. Then they chopped down more trees and built bigger homes. The houses grew into towns, and the towns grew into cities. They built factories and shops and cars and planes. They worked all day and all night until, eventually, there was hardly any forest left. But the greedy giants had forgotten how wonderful the forest was. They didn't see all the little birds and bugs and butterflies and bears that trembled in the shadows. And no one told them to stop because everyone was scared of them. Everyone except Greta. Will you help us? asked the wolf. Greta looked around. The animals looked tired and sad. She had to help them, but how? Then Greta had an idea. The next morning, Greta went into the middle of the forest and waited for the giants to come. She stood alone, holding a big sign. The sign said, Stop! She waited and waited. On the first day, the giants didn't see her and lumbered on by. And on the second and third, too. But on the fourth day, something strange happened. A little boy who had been watching Greta made a sign and came and sat down next to her. He didn't say much, but Greta knew he felt like she did. <clears throat> His sign says, listen. Soon more people and animals saw that they were what they were doing and joined in. And there were more signs. We live here. Save our forest. Our home is on fire. Who will help? Action now. All kinds. 
of signs. Before long, a huge crowd filled the forest, stretching out to the city and the roads beyond. They stood together and waited. The crowd was so huge that the giants stopped in their tracks. Please stop, Greta cried. Your greedy behavior is spoiling our home. You've broken the trees and trampled the flowers, and now the bees and birds have flown away. These animals are homeless, and our forest is dying. After Greta had spoken, everything was silent. But then everyone in the crowd began to shout, The smoke from your fires is choking the air! And please stop cutting down the trees! You can help plant some new ones and mend my home! We need to take care of our forest and live together. Will you please try? They all said. The giants shuffled and fidgeted and stomped their feet on the ground. They were embarrassed and a little bit sad. You see, the giants were so busy building, they didn't see what they were doing to the forest or the animals who lived there. The giants felt terrible. We're sorry, they said, and they promised to try harder. <clears throat> So from that day on, the greedy giants weren't so greedy. They slowed down and learned to sit quietly. They stopped working all the time and instead took up new hobbies. They stopped chopping down trees and learned all about gardening and living in the forest. They cooked, repaired, tidied, and shared. And before long... The forest be, became more beautiful than they could ever have imagined. Everybody's enjoying the forest. The giants, the children, the animals. The end. And that is Greta and the Giants. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and maybe it inspired you to look for some kind of a challenge and say, hey, what can I do to help? I'm just a kid. But even Greta was just a kid and she came up with a simple idea and it turned into a big idea because lots of people got involved. Well, my friends, that's it for this beautiful Monday. I hope you have an amazing day, rest of the day, and a great week ahead. And just in case no one has told you yet today, I love you. I want you to be successful. That will not change. All right. Have a good day.